here with a review on the Yuchu Sentai Q Ranger Henshin Kaiten Ken DX Ho Oh Blade and Ho Oh Shield. Yes, friends, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Right here says Yuchu Sentai Q Ranger, right here. And right here it says Henshin Kaiten Ken DX Ho Oh Blade and Ho Oh Shield. Right here, this icon does indicate we do have lights and sounds. Right here, got a nice shot of Ho Oh Soldier and the Ho Oh Blade and Ho Oh Shield. And of course, this little icon does indicate we do get a Kutama with the Ho Oh uh, Blade and Shield, and uh, which is the Ho Oh Kutama. On the top of the box, got a nice shot of the 12 Q Rangers, including Ho Oh Soldier. On the bottom, again, another nice shot of the 12. On the side of the box, again, a nice shot of the 12 Q Rangers. On the other side, got a nice shot of Ho Oh Soldier and the contents. And on the back of the box, pretty much show you everything that we're going to be seeing in this review. So let's go ahead, friends, and so get So here is the Kutama that comes with the Ho-Oh Blade and Ho-Oh Shield. And it is known as the Ho-Oh Kutama. And the Ho-Oh Kutama has a nice red, similar to the Shishi Kutama's red, with a nice glittery look in the ore part. I really dig that nice glittery effect in this in, in, on this Kutama. I really do. Got the number 12 on the base. So now I'm going to go ahead and mall slide it to the full emblem of the mythical bird of fire constellation, also known as Phoenix. And look at that emblem. I'm hoping my lightning is catching it, but that emblem looks really, really nice of the Phoenix. I really like that. But uh, anyway, on the bottom of the Kitama, got the pins, and you can see got that nice clear plastic there. Uh, got B12 stamped in between the pins. On the back of the Kitama, we got our reflective surface, which uh, will uh, reveal to us the secret image that we will see in Kirino. But we are seeing a little bit more of that nice glitter effect on the back of the Kitama, which is really nice. And I always dig anything with glitter on it. I always have. Now the Ho-Oh Kitama in the Sazer Blaster. So here we go. All right, let's do the change. I like that. Ho oh, oh. Now let's go ahead and do a Seiza attack. Ah, uh, the nice sound of the Phoenix. And so let's go ahead and do Seiza go. Ah, Ho-Oh Voyager, the mecca of Ho-Oh Soldier. So now let's go ahead and do Sazer Control. Control. Now the secret image in the Ho-Oh Kitama in Kirino. So here we go. So the whole blade and whole shield is a transformation device and weapon to Ho-Oh Soldier. It is also capable of utilizing a Kutama. And so let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the Ho-Oh Shield. And uh, right off the bat, friends, I'm going to say this now. The Ho-Oh Shield has no electronics. Most of your electronics are coming from the Ho-Oh Blade. So figure I'll let you know on that. But the whole shield does have a nice design here. I really like this design of the shield. As you can see, uh, the whole shield has a nice uh, phoenix mark, all done in a nice metallic red here. I really like that. And of course, all around, got that silver plastic all around on the shield here. Um, on the top here, uh, got the, uh, the uh, uh, spiky bits here, uh, done in the gold here. And then uh, on the bottom of the shield here, there's more of the spiky bits. And they do have that soft plastic there. As to the ones on the top aren't really soft. But uh, anyway, on the back of the shield, see more of the uh, molded detailings here. And then uh, here is the handle. And as you can see, the handle is pretty much designed for a child. So me having big man hands, my hand can barely fit the handle here. And of course, got the button here. And then... Uh, this is what happens when I hit the button, that uh, tab will come up. 
But uh, anyway, in the inner uh, portion of the shield here, uh, more uh, molded detailings. And uh, pretty much as you can see, the uh, this is pretty much where the Ho'o blade has a spot to be in the Ho'o shield, which is really nice here. And so I don't know if you recall, but in that very uh, episode that Ho'o soldier made his debut, he used the shield to act as a gun mainly this inner part of the shield. So taking a look at the Ho'o blade, as you can see, the blade has a nice phoenix head design on the handle of the uh, blade here. And uh, you can see got some uh, more metallic red paint here. And you can see the eye has that nice metallic green paint now. And then uh, right here, uh, got the silver plastic with detailings on it here. More metallic red paint here. And here's the trigger to uh, do the mode change. And the center of the blade, as you can see, got the nice uh, gun metal. And uh, really nice, uh, the gun metal is from here to here, which is really nice here. You can see right here, uh, this is where your lights is, and it is a red LED. And, uh, and um, right here, this is a rotation feature. Uh, it happens whenever you put the uh, blade in the shield, but it spins like crazy. But this is where you put the Kutama at. And of course, these arrows do indicate that's where you put the Kutama at. Also, you can see got the nice uh, spiky bits uh, right here, done in a nice gold here. So, uh, anyway, and so uh, taking a look at the uh, blade tip here, it's got that soft plastic here. And you can see got some more metallic red paint here. On the back, more metallic red paint here. Uh, nothing really too, too spectacular about the back of the Ho'o blade. But right here, uh, here is your speaker for the sounds, the on and off switch. And then right here uh, is your battery compartment, which takes two AAA batteries. And of course, here is the eye of the Phoenix, which is done in the metallic green. So no metallic red paint added on this side. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how this all works with the Ho'o blade and Ho'o shield combined. And so it's very easy. As you can see here in the, uh, in the shield, got that slot. And so we'll put the, uh, we'll go ahead and slide the uh, Ho'o blade into the shield like this. And so it's locked. You can't really, uh, yank it out or anything unless here is the key here you uh, hit the trigger here and the button on the shield and it releases the uh, the blade now reason for that uh, clearly there are two uh, separate locking points the first one here is on the ho-o blade here when you hit the trigger you can see those tabs are uh, retracting that's how that works and then, of course, I already showed you how this works with the whole old uh, shield. Uh, pretty much when I hit the button, you can see that tab retracting there. So that's how this pretty much works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in here. And as you can see, uh, now that we got the whole old blade in the whole old shield, it looks really, really nice. And uh, nicely, uh, looks really nice combined together. Um, and the uh, length of the Ho'o blade is roughly 16 inches long. Uh, even though if it still is in the shield, it's still going to be that same length. Um, and uh, I don't know if you notice, friends, but I'm going to uh, point the, uh, the Ho'o blade and Ho'o shield uh, to this way. You can pretty much tell uh, it's got a, uh, a nice design of the Phoenix. Uh, pretty much, you know, the blade uh, being the head and the tail of the uh, phoenix and the shield being the wings so to the phoenix. So one other thing I want to show it? you and pretty much mainly with the functions with the uh, the whole blade, whole shield. Here on the whole uh, blade, uh, it has a switch. When you hit that switch, that activates the sounds. On the whole uh, shield, right here, there is a stub. When you slide the Ho'o blade uh, into the Ho'o shield, the switch will hit this stub and that will activate the sounds. So that's pretty much how that works. So uh, anyway, again, a nice, uh, uh, a nice design here, uh, mainly with the, uh, the blade and the shield combined together. That's uh, a real nice design here. 
And uh, friends, I gotta be honest with you, the whole blade and whole shield is similar to the Wuzar, Wuzar Fire, Wool Saber, and Jag Shield. And um, that's the one thing I noticed about um, Whole Soldier. Uh, he has a bunch of similar designs with other past uh, Senshis, which is really cool. So, all right, friends, let's go ahead and do the sounds. So, anyway, let's go ahead and turn it on right here. So, here we go. Our typical on sound. And uh, pretty much from what we heard when we turned the Sazer Blaster and the Rusuter on. So, now let's go ahead and do uh, three uh, different uh, clanging sounds. So, here we go. That LED is nice, huh, friends? So now let's go ahead and put the uh, whole blade into the whole oh shield now that the functions are turned on. So here we go. The uh, the phoenix screeching sound. So and pretty much now now that the uh, blade is in the shield, we can do this. But uh, anyway, well I will say this now. Uh, uh, just like the Roost Suitor, the whole uh, whole blade doesn't have a Kitama reader. So, no pin system like the Sazer Blaster had. So, the functions only recognizes the Ho-O Kitama and all of ho Soldier's attacks and mecha sounds. Now, time to throw in the ho Kitama and put it in the ho blade and ho shield. So, here we go. So, Ho-O Kitama. And as you can hear now, it's giving us a usual standing by sound. So uh, let's go ahead and cancel it out by pulling the whole blade out. And like I said, it cancels it out. And so let me fix this here so we can... All right. So anyway, uh, clearly this changer has six modes. And so um, anyway, to do this, uh, you would have to hold the trigger to do the mode change. And so the first mode we're going to go ahead and do is the henshin. So let's go ahead and um, hold uh, the trigger. Come on the change. Listen to that jing. So here we go. Star change. So, ho o -Oh, soldier, and I like it. I love that jing. But uh, anyway, here's an additional sound now that we are uh, transformed into ho o -Oh, soldier. Ho o -Oh, blade. Ho -Oh, blade. And then uh, the clinging sounds are the same. All right, and the next mode. So here we go. Galaxy. So here we go. So Galaxy, that's Ho -Oh Soldier's final attack, the Phoenix Inn. So let's go ahead and continue on. So here's the third mode. Come on the go. So here we go. So, uh, summoning of ho -Oh Voyager, which is ho -Oh Soldier's Mecha. So here we go with the fourth mode. So here we go. And so here we go. Come on the docking. So here we go. So the Gundaita Gigan Ho. And here is the fifth mode. So here we go. So super come on the docking. So here we go. So the Gunthite, the Q Tumbajin. Alright, and so here we go with the sixth and last mode. 
And so here we go. Come on, the attack. So let's go ahead and hit the first one here. So, ho o -Oh shield. And so, pretty much, this is sounds with the ho -Oh blade in the ho -Oh shield. And so, the next 12 sounds you'll hear, uh, just to let you know, I will have the translation in the description of this review. So, let's go ahead and begin. So that is the remaining 12 um, sounds, uh, mainly with the whole blade in the whole shield. So making it all evenly into uh, 13 sounds. And so pretty much now all we can do is hold the trigger and it cancels that mode. So holding that trigger will repeat the process and pretty much going back to the henchin and so on. Pretty much what I showed you all during this review. So anyway, I just want to show you real quickly how to uh, take the whole Kutama out. As you can see, I got it face forward, and so that would make it easy to pull out. But I do wish there was a little lever to kind of make it a little bit easier to pull the Kutama out. But it, it's kind of hard here at times, but let's see if we can try it here. So something like that. And then uh, right here, here is the button, uh, and pretty much if I hit that button there... So that's pretty much how all the functions work in this uh, changer slash weapon.
friends, my final thoughts on the Ho'o Blade and the Ho'o Shield. Well, friends, I pretty much gave you all my input all during this review on how I feel about this changer slash weapon, and I really, really like it. And uh, the one mode I do like uh, mostly is the come on the attack with the uh, 13 sounds. Uh, well, mostly the, the last 12, pretty much. And like I said, I will have those uh, translations in the description of this review. But uh, anyway, and the only flaw, well, I really shouldn't consider it a flaw. I still wish there was a, lat, a, a lever to release the Kutama. But it is what it is. I mean, you can pretty much uh, pull, uh, take the uh, Kutama out uh, this way, and that's pretty much how it works. But I uh, love the jeans, uh, pretty much with the henshin and then the guntite, the summoning, the galaxy. I love ev everything about this uh, changer slash weapon. So I would say this, friends, I do highly recommend this uh, weapon uh, slash changer. But let me warn you, shipping will be on the little pricey side due to the size of the box this uh, changer slash weapon comes out of. So uh, if you can find a good deal on it, don't pass it up. And uh, like I said, I do highly recommend it. And so all I can say, friends, is good luck and happy hunting. Well, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, follow my Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And if you like this review, please smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And my friends, this review on the YouTube Sentai Q Ranger, Henshin Kaiten Ken, DX, Ho-Oh Blade, and Ho-Oh Shield. I hope you enjoy. Well, of course, friends, I'm EG. I'm signing off today. And my friends, I'll most assuredly see you next time. Bye.